Hi, I'm Kale from Melling. Thanks for clicking. Today we are going to discuss valve replacement. I will be using an LS style cylinder head for this demonstration. This procedure may vary for other engines. Start by removing the cylinder head and valve spring. See our valve spring replacement video reference the off vehicle procedure. Most valves that have been run in an engine will have some slight mushrooming of the valve tip. We need to remove this mushrooming with a file. This will prevent guide damage as the valve is pulled from the head. Now using the new valve, we can check the guide using a dial indicator. The maximum valve stem to guide clearance spec for this engine is .0037. Now that we have determined that the valve guide is in good condition, we should take a look at the valve seats. Seats that are badly worn or burnt should either be replaced or reground. Our seats look good, so we can continue on. Start by applying valve lapping compound to the face of the valve, being careful not to get any on the stem. Install the valve into the cylinder head and use a valve lapping tool to rotate the valve back and forth for approximately 30 seconds. Remove the valve and clean the valve lapping compound from the valve seat and valve face. Look to make sure that you have good contact around the whole valve seat area. Now let's check our valve to seat contact. Lightly brush Prussian blue onto the entire valve face. Now insert the valve into the guide and snap the valve straight down onto the seat. Remove the valve and look at the contact pattern. It should be consistent all the way around the valve face and valve seat. Wipe any excess Prussian blue from the seat. Install the new valve and reinstall the valve spring and retainer. I'm Kale from Melling. Thanks for clicking.